Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. It's Friday, which means it's Spirit Day, brought to you by Rush Creek Distilling. Visit the distillery in Harvard or find Rush Creek, where fine spirits are served and sold. We got our spirits over here, and we got Julie Humple from Hello. Remax. Hello, how are you? Great, how are you? Good. Good. So we're going to make um, money-saving cocktails. So what that means is you just unpack your fridge and you find all the stuff. You know, yesterday we talked about how today is producer Danica's last day, so I think this all came from her fridge. She's like, you know what, I'm not going to be here anymore. I'm just going to throw you all my ingredients. And then, of course, we have our spirits over here. So you are a gin girl. Yes. Okay. So I'll give you the gin bottle. Okay. You just use the whole bottle. I'm going to take vodka. Here's your glass. Okay. Here's mine. The recipe says two ounces of alcohol and then whatever else you want. Okay. We can measure it or not. You want to measure or no? No. Not me either. We know how to pour two ounces. One. Thank you, Danica. Two. Isn't that how the bartenders do it? They yeah. count? Right. And what are you going to pick from over there? What do you got? I'm going to do club soda. What oh, we got, you? oh, I was going to say, we have and some, some limes. Too. My lemonade. Mm. It's literally everything. Um, okay, I, I'd like a ginger ale. And it's fall. <laughs> and cider. yes, you yeah. see where I'm going here. Apple cider. Let's give it a little I shake. I like apple cider. Do you like apple cider? Uh, normally it's associated with cinnamon, and I'm the weirdo that's allergic to cinnamon. Oh, well, I'm sorry so. to hear that. I'll get this out of your way. Let's <laughs> we'll put this on the floor. Just don't get anywhere <laughs> no, near Julie. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, also I need, is that cranberry juice? I like to oh, be yes. uh, creative here. I'm going to okay. spray cranberry. Put some on orange, here. too? A little. Why not? Just do everything here. And cherries might not mix well. No, I don't like cherries. Okay. All right, Julie, tell us what's going on in your REMAX world. REMAX world. Uh, real estate is booming. Interest right. rates are still really low. And we can talk money-saving ideas on what's going to bring you top dollar, too. Or that can be another segment. Hey, you can tell yeah. me. we got yeah. time. OK. So <laughs> you can have cocktails ready for the showing. Right, yeah. I don't know if this is like going to be this is really ugly. <laughs> oh, I add a little ginger yeah, ale to mine, like too. OK. No, interest rates are really low. Uh, things are, are booming out there. Mm -hmm. I think the public has a misconception that things slow down in winter. I thought um, that, that as well. You know, other than driving capabilities of snow, <laughs> no, we still sell homes in winter and people are still moving in winter. So it's still and a this fabulous is, time. like still one of those crazy situations, right, where this pandemic has changed the real estate industry a little bit, yeah? Right, our inventory is low. I know everybody's sick of hearing that, but that's still the case. So we have more buyers than we have homes for sale so if you're a seller it's a very good position to be right. in and if you're a buyer we're still gonna find it and get you that home do you see a lot of people that call you and you have to say okay like let's work on figuring this out because of that because you need to have a new home to move into because their home's gonna sell so quickly yes that yeah. that does and can create a problem but uh, we can uh, find the home first we can uh, solidify some temporary sure. housing so there's definitely That's ways we can it. make that work and happen or push the closing date out a bit so we'll find Should that we dream these? home I mean, I'm sure, sure. Can taste just mine. <laughs> Cheers. mine's good i, I mean yeah. how is it going to be bad right i think That's it's good. all because of the rush creek uh, mean, distillery that's what not? made it perfect yes one more cheers yeah one yes. more right it's friday mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about your job? Everything. <laughs> no, no day is the same. Yeah. I love that. And uh, I love people. So every day you get to meet somebody new right. and talk to them. Obviously, it's American and dr American dream. So that first time home buyer is still my ultimate oh, favorite, bet. favorite. Because right? uh, you did make their dream come true. But and we always have you know, death and relocation and divorce and all other situations that uh, make people need and want to sell and sure. buy too. And people are tired of sitting at their dining room table doing their computer work. Right. So we need a house with There are an so many people and, I know that have not, like, or not or won't ever really be returning to the office. So they really might need a home to right. help them with that. Right, and also people had babies in the pandemic, <laughs> so we need another couple. bedroom too. <laughs> I think they had them and now there's even more. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so no, people do need coming. more space they found out in the pandemic uh, with not going back to work and yeah. or everybody's on top of each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about this area is like everywhere you go, you know, a couple miles this way, that way, this way, there's so many different kinds of homes out here. I grew up in uh, Schaumburg, so the suburbs of sure. Chicago. I feel like it's very uh, repetitive out there. Mm -hmm. When you look at, you drive down the street, it's not that way over here. You're always seeing something new. No, and that's beautiful. The terrain is yeah. different. We have some hilly areas, uh, the trees you know, are more prominent and older on the west side. And as we grow, go east yeah. and grow towards 90, 
you know, those record fields that we developed right. homes and now have in. So, yeah. Yeah, and you're right. We have a lot of variety here, which I think the public likes. Yeah. We're not all two ranches. We're not all two stories. There's we a have lot. And that's, variety. you know, that's where you come in because somebody might just be moving to this area and they're like, I don't know, what is Rockford? <laughs> like, call Julie. Julie will help you out and then you'll find a perfect there home. There you go. All right, oh, so how do we get in touch you. with you? You can call me at 815-222-4823 or visit my website, juliesellsnow.com. I thought there was oranges in here and I was a little uh -oh. disappointed there weren't. They're lemons. <laughs> now it's sour. I was like digging deep trying to find it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What's your favorite cocktail? Is it? It's gin, right? It is gin. Uh, I don't even know how that started. And then I do club soda, you know, calorie conscious. Try yeah. not to I pretend the there's sugar. no calories in yes. drinks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> is that the real thing? There's no calories in drinks. I'm sure I just, I put three different kinds of sugary fruit juices. Okay, That's right. okay. Well, you're young. You yeah, your metabolism is stronger. Not as young as you think I am. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. What a great Friday. <laughs> yeah, right. Coming up next, your good day calendar tab. Going to look at Monday's show. I'll tell you our theme for next week, too. We'll be right back. Spirit Day is brought to you by Rush Creek Distillery. Visit the distillery in Harvard or find Rush Creek wherever fine spirits are served and sold.